In today's video for Alpha Universe, I'll share a simple one light setup that you can use to take studio style portraits. If you're a natural light photographer or someone who is using a flash for the first time, this will provide you with a great foundation that you can build off of to get more intricate lighting setups in the future. I'm going to give you three variations to this setup that you can use to quickly change up the look of your lighting. Before we dig into that, let me walk you through everything that I'm using. For my lighting, I'm using the Sony 60 RM flash that I've placed inside of a two x three softbox. This is a simple yet effective setup that you can use to get some great lighting for waist up portraits. I like using my off camera flashes like the 60 RM on a rolling stand that I can quickly and easily move around while I'm shooting. I also like keeping a grid on my soft boxes just in case I wanna focus the lighting and prevent it from spilling on my background. Moving on to the rest of the setup, I'll be using the Sony Radio Commander to fire off the flash and adjust the output of the light throughout the course of the entire session. I have this on top of the camera that I'll be using for this tutorial, which is the Sony A6600, and I'm pairing it with one of my favorite APS-C lenses, the 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8. This combo works great for shooting portraits outdoors and equally as good in a studio environment like I'm doing today. Backgrounds can be as simple as a wall, but this time around, I wanted to take these on a neutral color that would bring the attention back to my subject. I went with a gray seamless paper, and it's one that I often use for my portraits and fashion work. Now that we have a handle on the setup, let's talk about the shoot itself. I often start off my studio portraits by placing my light somewhere around the 35 to 45 degree mark. This position gives you some beautiful directionality to your light, and it gives you a nice balance between light and shadow. Keep in mind that everyone is unique and there isn't a single lighting setup that makes everyone look amazing every time. If you try the first lighting setup and it's not to your artistic taste, you could try this next setup. The idea is to take your light and place it directly in between you and your subject. This will cause the majority of the face to be lit nicely and cause the shadows to be cast downward throughout the image. Here's what this setup looks like. The last variation is actually a spin on the first setup. Let's say that you like the lighting on your subject, but you're feeling like the shadows are a little bit too dark overall. An easy way to remedy this is to use a reflector or you could use a white V-flat to bounce some of that light back onto your subject. I personally like using V-flats for this since they're easy to set up and tear down pretty quick. Here's what you get using that setup. This should give you a great foundation to start shooting some beautiful studio portraits, but I'm curious to know which one was your favorite? Have some other simple setups that you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. While you're there, be sure to subscribe to Alpha Universe's YouTube channel and check out some of the other videos that you see here on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.